So now let us work with position noise inside of Element 3D. So for that, I'm going to go into the scene setup and I'm going to bring an object that I can work with. So I'm going to go into the starter pack and let me just choose this asteroid right here and press OK. So here's the asteroid. And if you want to uh, do a sort of a noise animation right there, random animation, then you can go to group one right here. And I'm going to go into my particle replicator. And here you'll be able to see uh, the options to actually edit noise. So you can see that over here in replicator effects, there's scatter, scatter, and position noise, which I can work with. So I'm going to go into position noise and you can see that I can increase the noise evolution and I can increase the noise amount. And I can also increase the noise scale. And you can see that now, once I increase it, these rock starts moving up around. So I can increase the amount right here, here and also the evolution. So if I want to animate this, I can add in a keyframe right here, and then I can simply move it around according to the type of animation I want. So you can see that here, there's a sort of a, a animation that I have, a noise animation. Let me just expand this so you can actually see this. So I'm going to go into effects, into element, and over here, you'll be able to see uh, the animation. So it's under the particle replicator. So I'm going to go into group one particle replicator and over here you can see the keyframe under the replication effect, the scatter position and so forth. So let me just delete the keyframe out here and let's see what we can do with this. So let's create something like um, like a spear right here and I'm going to increase the particle count so it actually does fill it up like a spear. So it seems like a rock over there. So let me just scale this down. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go over to a particle to uh, scale this down. So it actually looks like it is in a spear. So let me just scale, scale this down right here, increase the particle count. So it looks more like a spear and it covers up everything. Let me just increase the number. All right, so I can really buff up the numbers as you can see barely gets slow and over here now I can work with the noise so let me just right click and reset every setting right here so let me just uh, reset this out all right so particle noise and I'm going to go over zero zero let's add in zero as a value reset everything back over here so it seems like a perfect spear so you can see that now I can increase the noise scale and over here, you'll be able to see some level of difference. I'm going to increase this noise amount. And you can see that now it looks like uh, uh, it is not in the same place. So now I can use the evolution and you can see that it scatters all around. I can also decrease the noise scale for a more softer look. I can also go back over here into zero, increase this a certain, in a subtle way. And you can see that there's a subtle noise evolution right there. It's like that. So I can go over here You can also increase and decrease the noise amount. You can also really buff it way up just like that. So just increase this just a bit. All right. So I'm going to go into the noise evolution right here. I'm going to go over here into 10 and increase this in size. Let me just uh, press shift and select it out over here. And you'll be able to see that there's a bit of a noise animation right there. And it really gives a effect uh, to this particle right here. So you can also go over here into scatter and scatter everything out and you can see that there's a sort of a noise evolution with the scatter option right there. There's also offset option so you can increase the distance within the sphere as well. You can increase the distance from the main objects just like that. So you can have this kind of a random effect. So you can see that there's a random effect right there just like that. So everything is rendering out that's fine. All right, there you go. So that is how you can work with position noise effect inside of Element 3D. I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.